Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. In the spirit of my good cousin from New Mexico, I will also try to be uh, brief. Uh, I want to thank you and uh, Ranking Member Sessions uh, for your support. I'm also grateful to uh, Chairwoman Boxer and Ranking Member Inhofe for including my bipartisan legislation in today's hearing. I want to also acknowledge uh, my good friend Senator Lautenberg from New Jersey. Uh, I've introduced the Target Practice and Marksmanship Training Support Act, and it's uh, designed to encourage the development of high quality shooting ranges which are open to the public by amending certain parts of the Pittman Robertson Wildlife Restoration Act. That act provides federal support for certain wildlife restoration and hunter education programs. And my bill would give the states greater flexibility over the federal dollars they already receive from the PR, the Pittman Robertson funds, which would free up more money to build shooting ranges. The funds from Pittman Robertson come from an excise tax on the sale of shooting and archery equipment. This bill helps those paying into the system, which are primarily sportsmen, get a better return on their investment. And by focusing on flexibility with already allocated funds, the legislation won't cost taxpayers an additional dime. And in return, I believe it'll be a tremendous boon for our sportsmen in our outdoor recreation communities, which are not only an integral part of our national heritage, but are a key component of our economy, especially in, in rural areas, which we all do represent. Uh, for those reasons, the bill has broad uh, bipartisan support. Here, uh, Senator Risch teamed up with me to author the bill. It has uh, broad support within the sportsman's community, and I'm grateful for the support uh, that we've gotten from uh, everybody from the National Shooting Sports Foundation uh, to the National Rifle Association. As, as uh, you all know, uh, often the best ideas for legislation come from the local uh, communities, and uh, I've really had overwhelming support in Colorado from people who want to see the development of more high quality shooting ranges. So I want to finish with uh, some comments from two of my constituents. Donald in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, which is down in the wonderful southwestern part of the state near my, my cousin's state of New Mexico, he wrote to me, I've been a hunter education instructor for over 30 years and helped teach over 5,000 students. Since we have no sh public shooting facilities in the Pagosa Springs area, it's always a challenge to find a safe and accessible location for the range portion of the class. We desperately need a range facility in our area to be able to continue teaching our kids and those who are new to hunting how to safely handle firearms. From Gary in Aurora, Colorado, my father helped to found and build a recreational shooting facility in the late 1950s. I was literally brought up at the range. I spent every weekend working there. These ranges are not just a place to shoot. They are a close-knit family full of diverse people. Our club has also taught my son the love of shooting and safety along with me. I cannot stress this enough as we are seeing more and more clubs closing down. We need more places to teach, enjoy, and relax with fellow shooters. So again, uh, Chair Mr. Chairman, thank you for giving me an opportunity to uh, present my bill to you, and I look forward to working with the committee to advance this important legislation.